Hello, uh, so I'm going to introduce a new uh, reusable Argo workflow template um, that I created this past week. Um, it's for sending Kafka messages um, through Argo workflows. Um, green. So I just have a small script to uh, run our security indicators um, benchmarks. I'll run that. So now while this is running, I'll kind of run through uh, what it what it's actually doing. So this is our um, security indicators uh, benchmark. Can you, our, can you enlarge it? Oh, thanks. Yeah, yeah, it's doing that. Um, so what it does is it will um, go download the package, uh, run a couple. Uh, scripts on it, this runs bandit and clock, um, then it aggregates those results, then it syncs them to our database. And then I added this extra um, step in here called send message. Um, it runs after everything is run. This is the, the previous last step. Um, so it goes to template ref send message, um, and then you pass it a topic name, um, whether or not it should create the uh, topic if it doesn't exist, um, and then the actual contents. So the the structure of this is it's the um, the message content, like the name of the name of the uh, the title of the I'm blanking on what it's called in a value, a value. Um, so this would be like the workflow name. Um, and then we can use our Argo parameters to pass it um, this the document ID uh, and we indicate the type as string here. Um, and if we go to the actual send message here, you see that um, these are passed here, um, as well as um, a couple extra parameters that have default values. These can be set uh, if you want different values there. Um, and then some uh, cluster uh, namespace specific uh, parameters such as where the Kafka bootstrap server is and the um, say certificate. Um, see how this is doing. So here we see that the message is sent um, and we can we can look at the actual uh, workflow name. So this will be uh, what's sent as the workflow name if we go over to cough drop. Let me go to thought messaging test because that's where I indicated the um, value. And then we view messages. Um, and it looks like it is this one right here. So we have workflow name, security indicator, um, APF, the same thing as that's right here, APF DC. So what this can be used for is we can indicate information about the actual uh, workflow run. And if there's anything that needs to be done with this information, we can have consumers that listen to these uh, messages. Um, they can indicate uh, reasons for failure or number of uh, successful things that we need to do on the success of a different workflow. Um, yeah, so that's it. If anyone has any questions. So we can use that workflow, uh, no, that uh, task in, in basically every workflow that we have, right? Mm -hmm. We that that workflows run in which uh, namespace then? It, the, does that have all the credentials uh, that we need? Uh, that one was in Thought Test Core. It needs um, the Kafka Bootstrap server and the Kafka CA file are, are the only two things it needs. I think both are deployed from the TOS uh, application, Argo CD application, right? Mm -hmm. Good. Nice. Uh, thanks. Other questions? Uh, so, uh, topic name does it needs to be like in a specific order? Uh, so the topic the topic name has to be a um, Python identifier. So you can't have like dashes um, in the middle, and it has to start with um, uh, letters. A letter. Yeah, and it. I also am going to um, disallow starting with uh, double underscores. 
just because it, it does set uh, the value um, and that could have some unintended consequences. Sure, okay. Uh, there's another uh, parameter, right? It says like create if not exist. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? Is it create a message or is it creating a topic? So in um, thought messaging, we have um, a bunch of classes that we reuse for our um, producers and consumers. Um, and create if not exist basically indicates that we want to use the message factory um, and that there isn't a um, topic associated with that topic name within thought messaging. Okay. So most of the time it will be fun, right? Uh, I'm just confused with the value. It would be one because most of the messages would not be in top messaging. If you are uh, adding new workflows. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. So what do we do with the messages after we receive them? Like after the workflow is done? Um, that depends. I, I mean, that, the message that I sent was just an example. Um, you can you can add all of the workflow parameters as well as any outputs of the different steps. So if you want to do something based off of um, the output of some step, um, but you don't want it included in the workflow, you can send that to Kafka, and then you can have a consumer handle those messages later. So we can like different, like se segregate the uh, workflows, right? Advisor and graphsing, all of them can be different workflows. Um, I'm not sure what you mean. Like we they can... are different workflows right now. I think the the uh, advantage uh, of messaging is uh, that it also works as a queuing uh, mechanism, right? So if you if you um, have the periodic job, which is uh, checking for new package releases. It will create a message for every package uh, version that is found to be re a new release upstream and send it to the topic. And if we start picking uh, these uh, things up, these messages get acknowledged um, to, to the Kafka topic. Therefore, everybody knows, okay, that has been processed. And if nobody is ever acknowledging them, they're just going to sit in the in the topic and we know, okay, we need to do something with it. So whenever a consumer of the hey, I've discovered a new package release um, message comes up, we want to start processing what has not been processed before. So at least in my view, it is um, a good mechanism to decouple components, like workflow is doing something, send a message, I did something. And it is uh, queuing up uh, these messages. So if a consumer is dead for whatever reason, the messages don't get lost or the information uh, does not get lost because it's just queuing up in the topic, in the Kafka topic. Thanks. Cool. Any other question, comment? Thanks, Kevin.